Hello guys, in this experiment we are going to find out the entrance length determination in the pipe flow. Before that we must know what is entrance length. When a flow is taking place in a pipe pipeline, at the inlet we are providing a velocity as a uniform velocity. From the top to the bottom the velocity is uniform. Uh, when it is flowing, because of the pipe friction at the wall, the bound layer gets developed so that the velocity is getting dropped and the uniform profile will change to a parabolic profile through a particular path and the length which is taken by that pipeline to reach a parabolic profile is named as entrance length or uh, that is the developing region bound layer developing region so we are going to predict we are going to find out this length in a pipe flow when a laminar flow is taking place so this is our description of the experiment so these are the conditions that we are taking for our analysis. We are taking a Reynolds number of 500 so that the flow is completely laminar and we are taping uh, and we are assuming a pipeline diameter as 0 0.05 meters and the water is at 25 degrees Celsius so that the density and viscosity uh, are used as mentioned below. And based on the velocity, based on the Reynolds number that we have assumed 500, we have to calculate the velocity and uh, the velocity value is found to be 0 0.01035 uh, so let's plug in that value and we can create a geometry as a two dimensional rectangle so we have to model only half of that pipeline so that we have to model only the radius of that geometry okay let's start the analysis go to ANSYS workbench first just drag and drop the fluid flow fluent system. Right click the geometry and click new design modeler geometry. Now we are going to create a pipeline about a length of 5 meters. So let's click XY plane and click sketching and make the plane normal to us so that the XY planes uh, is in front of us. So now the scale is in 30 meters. Let's zoom in and change that to almost 5 meters. Now let's create a rectangle. Can give the dimensions of that. This should be 5 meters. And the radius should be 0 0.025 meters. So this is the dimension that we have defined. Now we have to convert this sketch into a surface. So go to concept, surface from sketches, click the sketch, and click apply and click generate. Now we have created the surface. This is the fluid domain for our analysis. And we have created half of the uh, pipe. So this should be considered as an axis. Now close the design modeler. Double click the meshing, double click the mesh to open the meshing module. Okay, now we have to name the inlet and outlet boundaries. Let's name the left side boundary as inlet. Click this boundary, right click and create name selection and name it as inlet. Similarly zoom out and zoom in here and click this boundary and right click and create name selection and name that as outlet and this should be the axis just click that and right click and create name selection and name that as axis so now we have three name selections namely the inlet here the outlet here and the axis so now click the mesh and give a mesh size of two millimeters This will be creating a decent mesh and click generate. It will take some time. Now the mesh has been generated. Now we can close the meshing module and right click the mesh and click update. Now double click the setup to open Ansys Fluid. Click start. Now go to the 2D space and change that to axis symmetric because we have modeled only the half of that 
and we have defined the axis then go to the models and double click the viscous model and simply change that to laminar because we need not to solve any turbulence equations since the flow is laminar go to the materials there will be only air inside the fluid so double click the air to open the fluid database and just go down there and click the water liquid click copy and then close it now we can see inside the fluid domain you can see water liquid so now we have to assign this domain as water liquid so go to the cell zone conditions fluid double click the surface body and define that as water liquid and click apply so now we have defined this entire domain as water liquid and now go to the boundary conditions we can find the axis boundary that we have defined earlier in the geometry uh, meshing itself now go to the inlet and double click the velocity inlet and provide the value that we have calculated earlier that is 0 0.01035 meter per second and click apply and then click close Now go to solution initialization, hybrid initialization. Go to run calculation and give 200 iterations and click calculate. The solution is not yet converged as we expected. Anyway, this result is sufficient for our analysis. Uh, now go to create. Before that, let's view the uh, velocity plot. Go to the graphics, double click the contour and change the contour to velocity and just click display. Now you can see the velocity plot. If you zoom in, you can find at the inlet we have uh, we can find the uniform velocity and after that the velocity boundary layer is getting developed and it will become st stable after particular length so we are going to predict that particular length by creating vertical lines and plotting the velocity plots across that okay now create line let's create some lines that should be uh, actually the first line should, should be here that is the inlet 0 comma 0 and here 0 comma 0 0.25 that is our 0 0.025 that is our radius and similarly create multiple lines here let's create another line here so this point should be and in the x-axis that should be 0 0.5 and in the y-axis that is 0 if you create a point here in the x-axis that is 0 0.5 and at the y-axis that is 0 0.025 that is the radius of the pipe so I am creating a line y is 0 here and the second point the y should be 0 0.025 and the first line I am creating is at 0 0.5 meters and let's name this line as 0 0.5 and create Similarly, at 1 meters, I am creating a line. Let's name that as 1 and create. Similarly, at 1.5 meters, that should be named as 1.5 and create. Then at 2 meters, name that as 2 and create. 2.5 meters, name that as 2.5 and then 3 8. 3 meters name that as 3 and then create 3.5 meters and name that as 3.5 and then create and at 4 meters 
Let's name that as 4 and then create at 4.5 meters. Name that as 4.5 and then create. And at 5 meters, we need not to create a line because the total domain itself having a length of 5 meters. So uh, the outlet boundary that we have named as outlet can be named as uh, can be used for that 5 meters line. Right. Okay, now let us plot the velocity along that cross sections that we have created. Go to XY plot. Change that to position on X, uh, Y axis. Change this to Y axis 1. And the direction uh, X axis function should be velocity. And we need to plot at all the lines that we have created 0.51, 1.52. 2.53, 3.5, 4, 4.5, and the zeroth point should be the inlet, and 4.5 at the fifth, at the five meters will be the at the outlet, and I am saving the plot. So now we can see that at the inlet, this is the in inlet velocity. You can see a straight or a uniform velocity there, and afterwards at at 4.5 meters it is getting uh, slightly parabolic and the difference is uh, huge when it's go to line 1 and then when it is goes to point line 1.5 the difference is slightly reduced and then when it goes to line 2 it's again it is reduced to a larger extent and when it goes to line 2.5 again it is reduced and when you go further and further you can see there is no much difference between the line 4 and 4.5 so here we can conclude that 4 meters can be the uh, entrance length, right? So we can see larger uh, variations before that, but here we can see only a small difference between 4 and 4.5. So even if you plot after 5, that will also have a very small difference, right? So we can uh, consider this as, consider the length uh, 4 meters as the entrance length right so similarly uh, now if you want to plot this go to uh, zoom to window and go to this uh, expand this icon to get the camera button and click the camera and uh, uncheck the use window resolution uh, change the width to 960 change the height to 960 and change the width to 1080 pixels and click save and choose a designation where you want to save that and now I have saved that you can see at the desktop you can find the results plus the plot so this can be used for further uh, reporting and uh, inferences okay, then let's see uh, we can also infer that in different way I have also mentioned to create some points over there so let us create some sampling points at 0 1 uh, till 5 so let's create that also and let's see uh, the velocity magnitude at uh, each point so how it is varying that means we are measuring the velocity at this point this point this point this point up to the uh, last point so we can find uh, uh, the variation velocity if there is variation in consequent velocity that means still there is in the uh, that is in the inside the entrance length so if you find very neglig negligible differences so that means we have crossed the entrance length so because here the velocity will be almost same so uh, in in that aspect we are going to create some points in the axis of this line and we are going to create points let's create at a point 0.5 uh, that should be at y at zero distance that should be the axis and uh, at the x that should be 0.5 create first point similarly at one meters let's create another point that is 0.1 then at 1.5 create then at two 
8, 2.5, and create a point. Then 3, and create a point at 3 meters. 3.5, create a point there also. Create a point at 4 meters. 4.5 and lastly at 5 meters that's the last point at the outlet okay now we have created multiple points and let's display the values of these uh, velocities at those points go to reports and go to surface integrals, phase at average, the velocity, velocity magnitude or you can say the axial velocity, oh, sorry, select the points not the lines, select the point 1, 0.5, 1, 1.5, 2, 2.5, 3, 3.5, 4.5 and 5 and click compute. So now you can see the list of values that has been reported. So you can find that at the first point it is reported at as 0 0.018, then it is changing to 0 0.019, 0 0.02, 0 0.02, 0 0.02, 0 0.02, 0 0.02. Again, there is no there is no much change after uh, after the point 1.5. So we can also say that after 0 point, after 1.5 meters, there is no much difference in this velocity profile at the center. So that is a particular this point. So after that, so we can also conclude from this, this values, we can say that after 1.5 meters, the difference is negligible. So we can say that at one but these these additions are very high, very huge values. After that, the velocity profile is almost the same. So we can conclude that 1.5 or even we can say uh, two meters, uh, the velocity profile got uh, converged, and we can say that the velocity profile got stabilized, and the entrance length is two meters. Uh, from that uh, from these values we can conclude that so we can also report these values inside the tables uh, as velocity and uh, Here if you if you prefer we can also uh, uh, Write the uh, differences from the previous point to this point so that we can come to an easy conclusion whether the differences are significant or not so then you can write the conclusion whether you have got uh, uh, the entrance length based on two things we have got the entrance length we have calculated we are we can estimated the entrance length on two bases one is based on this velocity profile and also based on the central velocity that we have computed at, at these points i hope this tutorial helped you if you have any clarifications please feel free to drop your comments thank you